Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Hey, hey everyone, welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, continuing our tour of the Walmart frozen section, we have today some bacon wrapped stuffed jalapeno peppers. Stuff. <laughs> stuffed jalapeno peppers. And it's got cheddar cheese instead of the cream cheese. No, it does not. Huh? <laughs> no? What does it got? <laughs> First off, these are from Great Value. We'll put the picture up here. But they are cream cheese filled jalapeno wrapped with applewood smoked bacon. No, but they're like yellow. They're yellow. I'm going to look and see what the, what the ingredients are. <laughs> so we have jalapeno peppers, um, cream cheese, then followed by water, then cheddar cheese. So there is cheddar cheese, but cream cheese is first. I'll take some cheese in it. Yes. Because I'm not a big fan of jalapeno peppers with cream cheese. Well, I love the ones with cream cheese. So these were $6.98, so $7. And there's only eight of them in the box. So almost a whole dollar each. So um, another thing that I will say is that these... Um, basically all of the cheese like oozed out of them while they were cooking. So that kind of sucked. If you're hoping that these will be something that you can like kind of present as like a nice appetizer if friends are coming over or something, not going to happen because <laughs> it looks like a mess. They're very hot. They just came out of the oven. <laughs> and also, even though they cooked for 30 minutes, the bacon, not as done as we would like it to be. Um, but they would have burnt if we kept them in the oven any longer. So if you want the bacon done more, you would definitely have to put them in a skillet and do it. Um, the pepper itself does seem to have like cooked pretty well because it's pretty soft. Is it going to burn my mouth off? Yes, it is. You want to say anything about how they look or anything like that? Well, I did taste it a little bit so far. Uh, the cream cheese cheddar the cheddar cream cheese, I should call it. Mm -hmm. That tastes good. The pepper was was good, a, sp a little spicy. But my issue with it, it's kind of soggy. Mm -hmm. um, and the bacon was like, so far the one piece that I had was not that great. Yeah, because the bacon, like we like crispy bacon. And the bacon on these, I think that you would have to cook this almost an hour for the bacon to be fully done. That's very spicy. <clears throat> For the bacon to be fully done but there's no way to cook them that long without them burning in the oven so i think that if we were to make these again whoo it's burning my mouth <laughs> we would have to cook them whoo <coughs> we would have to cook them in the skillet first to kind of like halfway cook the bacon and then put them in the oven but then i feel like we'd lose all the cheese Again, so. Now, is it me or does the uh, the peppers taste a little sweet? Sweet? Yeah, a little spicy and sweet. <clears throat> Let me taste it again and see. Mm. I'm not getting sweet, but I am getting a like mouth of salt like lots and lots of salt in there bacon hmm. i wonder if no. also the cheese mixture now this piece of bacon the second piece i had was really good mm. it was really good yeah some of them definitely look a little bit more done than the others Whew. these are hot though like hot temperature and uh, really spicy the f the taste is pretty good though I'm surprised at the taste because honestly, whenever I opened up the oven and like all the cheese was like leaking out everywhere and burning, I was annoyed. But I mean, they do taste decent. Now, what did you say? Did you say it tastes sweet a little? Mm -mm. Like sweet peppers? Mm -mm. No, I just get salty and spicy. I wonder if it's the applewood smoked bacon that you're tasting this sweet. No? <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> it's very, very salty. 
I don't know that I hate it though. Like sometimes we have things that are super salty and we're like, wow, that's really bad. Maybe it's because it's so spicy that it kind of balances it a little bit. Mm. I feel like I'm a little torn on this one. I'm ready, you? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, guys, you're gonna have to give me a second here to <laughs> um, deal with the spiciness. Yeah. But, so based on our rating system, mm -hmm. would I buy this again, right? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Mm -hmm. For me, it is a thumbs down. Yeah. And here's why. First off, it's kind of pricey, right? Yes. Um, Because honestly, you can buy this at our grocery store. Mm -hmm. Yes. And and for a similar price and it's fresh, not frozen, mm -hmm. and it stays better together. Yeah, Be and they're bigger too. They're like long peppers in there. And we can also make these at home. Yes. Um but my main <clears throat> my main issue with it is the cheese and everything. It didn't stick together, man. It just everything fell apart. We had yeah. to kind of like um presentation-wise it was terrible looking. Yeah. Um the bacon was, uh, the second piece that I had was good. Um, the pieces are small, the jalapeno. Yeah. For what you're spending your money on. Yeah. And like you said, it's very salty. Mm -hmm. Like when we buy the ones that are at the grocery store. Yeah. That are fresh. They're not salty like this. Yeah. Um, they have a nice taste to it. This, for whatever reason, man, is very salty. It is spicy, which I like spicy. Holy crap. There is... A a serving size is two pieces, and there is 1,160 milligrams of salt in two pieces. Yeah. Cause, wow. Because the salt is kind of, um, the salt in this is just kind of like overpowering because I even taste it now. Yeah, me too. And the, uh, I don't know, I felt like the jalapenos were a little too soggy. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. Yeah. So I wouldn't buy this again. Honestly, we would probably just make it at home or just get the one from the grocery store. Yeah. That is fresh. Yeah. Now, if you live more like in a rural area mm -hmm. where, you know, maybe, um, I don't know, like, like, um, I don't know if like jalapeno papers, peppers are not a like regular thing at the store. Mm -hmm. I think this would be a great purchase. But like you just mentioned. Yeah. Watch out for the salt. Maybe have this as one pe like one one piece one piece yeah. and then just share the rest right yeah um so what is your thoughts yeah so for me it's gonna be a thumbs down also i think that they taste kind of good you know i do love that they're really really spicy the bacon isn't bad it's not great it's not bad though um they're very cheesy but for me it's the messiness factor and the cost because this is great value brand and for it to be almost a whole dollar just for this little like pipsqueak um is ridiculous i feel like especially for the flavor to be like kind of all over the place with the super saltiness super spicy you're saying a little bit sweet just kind of weird i don't feel like it's worth it necessarily here's the deal i'm licking my lips right and i mm -hmm. can just taste the salt yes it is very, very salty. Yes. That alone, no, never again. Mm -hmm. That's the review. No, it's not the review. <laughs> what, do, what do you mean? Because we both gave it a thumbs down. We have oh. to answer the question as to what will be the fate of these peppers. So if you guys don't know, we have little animals that come by our yard, right? Mm -hmm. Our backyard at nighttime. We have raccoons, we have opossum, we have skunks, mm -hmm. um, and we have like more birds, mm -hmm. uh, more squirrels and like chipmunks and I, who knows what else comes through our yeah, yard, right? Chupacabra. Yeah. So what we do is if we don't like some of these foods that we, you know, buy, mm -hmm. we'll leave it in our backyard. That is if we both agree we're not going to eat the rest of it, right? Yeah. So if you and I both did not like this. Mm -hmm. So would we leave this out for the animals? For me, I would say... It's a thumbs down. Yeah, it's a thumbs down because it's so spicy. I don't think that we could in good conscience leave this out for them. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna <laughs> I don't think they're gonna want to eat jalapenos. No. I think we'll just throw this out. Yeah, exactly. But you know, that's something to look out for, guys. If we both don't like it, you'll have to find out would we give it to our animal friends. 
that's the review. Let us know what you think if you've tried this. If you like what we're doing here, you might like what we're doing at our other channels. So check out the description. We have other YouTube channels. And also, before you leave, don't forget to click that subscribe button, give us a like, click that notification bell, and share this video with all of your family and friends who love food as much as you do. Bye.